Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you've been watching the previous series on my 243, my newest 243, you notice that I've been having velocity trouble that, that is lower than what is listed for the powder charges and the bullet weights. So today I'm testing the only way I know how. Not to tell me, but to show me. So I'm going to be taking one 243 with a 20 inch barrel against my newest 243 with the 22 inch barrel and actually comparing the velocities with the same bullets and the same powder. So come back folks, let's take a look. Okay, first up on the bench uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, is a 243 that I've owned since 2017. It is a Weatherby Vanguard Camilla. It was specifically designed by women, for women, at, uh, at the factory for Weatherby. It's got a very high cheek piece, very lightweight, 6.5 pounds, 20 inch number one contour barrel. It has a slight cant on the outside uh, for women's anatomy. The high comb is also for women's anatomy. This is a very good shooter, uh, but I have this rifle basically for any lady shooters that I have in my family and grandchildren uh, that are just getting started uh, because the 243 is a real good starter uh, type of caliber. Okay, so I already know what the velocity is on this rifle, but I'm not a just a tell you type of guy. I'm also a show you type of guy. So we're going to go ahead and shoot three shots of the 80 grain Sierra and the 100 grain Sierra. And we're going to chronograph it, put the numbers down, then I'll bring out my newest rifle, the Remington uh, 700 with a 22 inch barrel and we'll compare the actual velocities. Now a 20 inch barrel should have a lot slower velocity than a 22 inch barrel by about 50 to 75 feet per second. But we're going to verify that on target. So let me go down and turn that target camera on down there and then we'll just get to shooting. Okay I'm going to be very thorough and very fair in this analysis to find out what the difference between the two rifles is. I don't buy the slow barrel uh, analogy that other people put out there, but it's possible. All right, so I'm only going to shoot three shots, let this barrel cool down, gather the data, evaluate the target, then do the next three, and then switch over to the Model 700. Okay, but first, the first three shots, this is 80 grain. I already know the speed on this, but again, I want to rule out that it might be a chronograph error. So I'm going to start from scratch. All right, so here we go with the first three shots. With the 80 grain, be the target on the left, lower left. Thirty-two, thirty-six. That's a little bit faster than what I have written on the box, but it doesn't matter. Again, I want to be fair. Thirty-two twenty. Third shot. Thirty two ten. Average, 32.22. Standard deviation, 
13. Stream spread, 26. Okay, so I now have the numbers for the 20 inch. Okay, now let's move up to the 100 grain. I'll set up, reset up everything, and we'll get going again. Okay, now we're going to shoot the 100 grain Sierras. And again, I already know the speed on these, but to be fair, we're going to chronograph it as if this was the first time shot. All right, target set up. It'll be the target just above the last one I shot. Three shots with the 100 grain Sierra Game King. Twenty nine thirty nine. You can see, even with that thin barrel, that the chronograph moves forward with every shot just from the recoil because it is an extremely tapered barrel to make this rifle lightweight. All right, I'm not going to move it, let's just go ahead and shoot. Twenty nine thirty nine again. All right, third and final shot. Twenty nine forty six. That's an average of 2941. Keep these numbers in mind now. An SD of 4. Excellent. Extreme spread 7. So you can tell that I have previously worked up these loads for this rifle pretty well. We'll look at the accuracy here when I'm done. Okay. Chronograph is cleared off. Let's switch over to the 700, the Remington 700 next for the next six shots. Hang on. Okay. For those of you that are seeing this rifle for the first time, I've done three workups with this rifle since I got it. But basically, I'll just bring you up to date. This was a gift from my wife who brought it from her brother, gave it to me for my birthday. This is a Remington Model 700 BDL with a custom stock, trigger work, fancy scope, etc. Uh, that I'm trying to really get tuned in because it was a gift from my wife. Alright, so I already have the 20 inch numbers from the Weatherby Camilla. Now it's time for the Re uh, Remington. I'm starting out with the 80 grain Sierras once again. So I'm starting from scratch. No previous shots taken, anything. Cold bore shot, whole entire shot. Okay, so the, the two targets on the left were the Camilla. So just to the right of that, starting lower right, will be the 80 grain. Here we go. Thirty-two forty-six. That one dropped clear down to 3175. Don't know why, but that is almost a repeat of what happened 
the very first time I started to shoot this rifle. Alright, third final shot with the 80 grain. Thirty-two fourteen. That's an average of thirty-two eleven. Standard deviation of thirty-five. Stream spread seventy-one. Again, I'll go over all these numbers with you at the end, but let's go ahead and reset everything. Next up is the 100 grain Sierras in this rifle. Let's see what happens. All right, the barrel is sufficiently cooled down. It's still warm, but it doesn't matter. I'm trying to keep everything the same. So this is the 100 grain Sierra Game King. It'll be the target just above the last one I shot. Three shots. Twenty nine nineteen. Twenty nine thirteen. Gotta love those Sierra bullets, I'll tell you. And these are game kings, which are a hundred grain is sufficient for deer. The eighty grain, uh, there the Sierra blitzes. Uh, that's varmint cartridge claimed by Sierra, and I'm not going to go against them. Twenty-nine forty-nine. Validation and verification is essential when you're working up loads. These loads were worked up for the 20-inch Camilla on this side, and you can see those those two targets are pretty pretty good. The average speed for the 80 grain was 32.22, and for the 100 grain was 29.41. Okay, over here is the 700 BDL. Now, if you've watched the last few videos, you know I'm working and trying to figure out what's going on with the velocity. All right, so this was the exact same bullet worked up for this rifle that I shot in this rifle just to get a straight across comparison. Actually, the accuracy wasn't too bad, but it does tell me that I uh, that this rifle would do better probably with it, its own cartridge workup and I, and I will be doing that but the average on the 80 grain was 3211 the average on the 100 grain was 2927 but this is about 100 feet per second slower than it should be but that's an acceptable group okay all right folks well for all of you that have lost family members friends in the in the United States armed services uh, god bless you all thank you uh, for your sacrifice. For those of you who have just lost loved ones on Memorial Day, it is also a day to remember them as well. And God bless you as well. Uh, no matter what, folks, uh, we'll see you the next time when I can work on this 700 BDL a little bit more to figure out the chamber dimensions, the barrel, and what powder and bullet it likes. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Uh, do subscribe, leave a comment if you will. But no matter what, thank you all. Goodbye.